you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, since we both know this house rule is going to be a grind, I went ahead and compiled all my best thoughts on my best tips and tricks to finish this house rule as quickly as possible, Go, guys. Because when it was 10 house rule wins last year or earlier in the year, we needed ways to get that done quickly, right? When it was 20 wins, we needed ways to get that done quickly. When it was 30 wins, 35 wins, we were pulling our hair out. Now it's 75 wins. This is a drag. I only have finished about seven games. That's also because this is like this is it's busy. We have solo challenges to do, mud hero solo challenges to catch up on. We have 75 house roll wins. We have weekend league. We have football Sunday. We have family friends. We, we there's it's stressful. I have videos to make. There's so much to do, guys. So I'm gonna compile my best off and have to get this house rolls done as quickly as possible. What I pretty much picked up, those seven wins were quick. I got those done in like under an hour, maybe 30 minutes. I got that done, and so that honestly is not that long considering. Um, how I did it, but I've been focusing more on weekend league because I want to get weekend league done. I don't want to miss monthly rewards for you guys again, like I did last month. And what happened? I want to get weekend league done first because the house rules I have a week to get done, so I have I can literally drag that a little bit longer. Although I won't get the rewards for you guys that quickly, but it's it's worth it if I can get my weekend league done for you guys and get everything done and keep progressing my team. But what I've come to the conclusion on this house rules really doesn't take that long. Like what's the worst house rules in all time that I've ever done was point yoink. Point yoink was the most infuriating house rules I've ever done. I could go an hour with one win. Because I'm too impatient to play those games. I don't think they should be full games. So I can't I can't stay in them for full games. But besides the point, not gonna rant about point yoink. That was the worst one I've done in my life. The worst house rules yet. Some people may disagree. And it had nothing to do with skill gap or anything. They weren't hard people to beat. I just wasn't beating them in four quarters. I wasn't doing it. Like I can, I could physically beat them in four quarters, but I don't want to. I wanna beat them too. I don't wanna wait. I shouldn't have to play a full game, full 35 games. That's more games than some people play in a month. But besides the point. Besides the point, guys. Before we get into this video, make sure you're gonna below. Hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. Let's get to 11k as quickly as possible and start working our way to 20k. Keep establishing our name in this community, boys. We're growing tremendously. Thank you guys for all the support. But before we get into the video, remember, guys, the day long giveaways are still going on. All you gotta do is comment down below 50k and like the video. Any video hits 500 likes today, tomorrow, the day before, I will be giving away 50k. We're probably not gonna hit it. I've come to the conclusion we're gonna hit it. But if we come close enough to it, I still will give away to you guys. I'll pick probably two winners, but I won't do it tomorrow. The following day, I'll pick two winners. So make sure you're commenting 50k down below and liking the video so you're entered to win. And I'll give that all away probably the following morning on my Monday morning video. But guys, get into this video. So, heading on over to the house rules. So, as you guys know, make monster plays and take your opponent by surprise. Score a 20 yard touchdown for 12 points and a 50 yard touchdown for an instant win. If you're playing first to 20, so rack. You're playing first to 20. So, pretty much the second someone scores 20 points, you win. Or if you get a 50 yard touchdown, you win. Those are the two auto wins. Now, this earns you a not scary hero fantasy pack, which is huge. I have a few videos coming out for you guys to make Ray Lewis super cheap to get the set hero guys, whatever you want to call them, super cheap. So, to get that done, you're going to need these house rules done. So, make sure you're getting these done. You don't want to miss out on a free player. You never want to miss out on a free player. But. It's gonna take 75 wins. So math estimates that if you played these out as full games, let's see, let's do the math real quick. Full games, I'd say it will take you about like 25 minutes if you played about full. If you times that by 75 and you divide that by 60, it would take you 31 hours if you played everything full. You don't wanna play full games. It'll take you about 31 hours if you played these all full games. That is horrendous. It'll take you about two wins per hour if you played full games. Do not let that happen. This is why I'm gonna give you guys this advice to keep these short, efficient, and sweet as possible. So my first, my first thing of advice is the quit method. So, when you get into a game, if you get into that game, right, and you start off on offense, I don't I don't want to go for the 50-yard touchdown every time. Because if you go for the 50-yard touchdown, one out of 10 times you might actually score it, but the other, 10, the other nine games, you're going to not score it, they're going to come on you, and they're going to score on you, and then you're going to quit. You're going to waste time. So, I have the, my method so far has been my first play of the game, since the run game is OP, the first play of the game, I, I toss a nice little run out there. I like to run the first, the first play. If I could break a 50... That happens a lot. Most of my big plays are on run plays. I like to throw a run play every every four downs. I, th I do a little nice inside zone, see if I can break something. I don't go specifically for the 50-yard touchdown. If you go for the 50 yards, unless you guys have some overpowered, chemmed up, schemed up team, and you have glitch plays, go ahead by all means. I'm not saying don't use glitch plays, because to be honest, we're not playing house rules for competitive fun gameplay. We're playing for our rewards. So do what you guys gotta do. I won't judge anyone. But when you get into the game, right? If you start off on defense, that's pretty good, honestly. I'd rather start off on defense because starting off on defense really pisses people off. They're, they're impatient. If they throw a pick, they might quit right there. If they don't get their touchdown, they might quit right there. So here's my advice. Let's start with defense. If you come out on defense, I've been blitzing a lot because 
a lot of big plays can have if, if you if you blitz you force them to make errant throws real quickly and again i don't mind giving up the big play because that means the game ends i'm i want to go aggressive as i want to be aggressive as possible because in house rules aggressiveness wins aggressiveness People come into house rules already impatient. People do not want to be playing 75 total wins. They do not. They do not want to be playing that. Not to mention, you'll probably get like 25 losses. So you're playing like 100 games. No one wants to be in there for that long. So I come out in the blitz really, really heavy. I come out hard in the blitz. And people, after like, I've had people where I sack them three times, they just quit. They're not dealing with that. People do not want to deal with blitzing. Lawrence Taylor gets there way too quick. So that's one thing I recommend. Heavy blitzing, heavy glitchy defenses, because people do not want to be playing against that. I'm, I'm not kidding. If you do any glitchy type plays, people see that and they quit. Though they're not, they're not taking that headache on in this game. So I'd like to start off with the blitz on defense. Now, if you pick them off, don't go for the, don't go for the 50 yard touchdown unless it's, it's wide open and you know it's gonna happen. Don't go for the 50 yard touchdown. Get the easy score because if you get the easy score, people will quit. If you pick them off, you're in good position, right? You're ahead of them. Now you go for the you go for the 50 yard score, you throw a pick, right? They get the ball back. Now you're in a 0 0 game, you can play defense all over again. Now you're probably in the second quarter. You've already wasted a lot of the time in this game. If you come out, I like to run an efficient offense. I'm like house rules every week. I don't go for the extra points. I just play normally because everyone's so worried about that extra point score. No one's everything's leaving everything open. If you go for that 50 yarder, you're most more than likely gonna throw a pick or mess up your game plan. So what I would do is if I catch a pick at the 50, run the ball. Get your quick 30 yards, get into field goal range, either score or get a field goal. Now people, let's say you score, you're they're down seven. And remember, it's 20-yard touchdowns too, so you can easily still get a 20-yard touchdown within the 50, just playing efficient offense. 20-yard touchdowns happen every game almost. So I get into the 50, get your easy score. Now you're up seven, nothing. Two of things could happen here. People, Some people just quit right there. They're not coming back. You scored easy on them. They don't want to play anymore. They don't want to play from behind. because, Or what they do is most people come out and they try to get their 50-yard touchdown right there. You get your seven points. They're going to come out hard. They're going to come out for their 50-yard touchdown. They don't get it. They're quitting. And that's one of the things that I've been doing. Again, so to reverse that, remember, if you come out on defense, you got to stop. Go for the easy touchdown. Don't go for the 50-yard unless it's open. Just take your easy score. Most people are impatient. They'll quit right after that. They'll come out after that, and they'll try to get their 50-yard. If they don't get it, they're quitting because they don't want to see you go on offense again. Now, there's going to be a few ballsy guys that go the whole length of the game and they don't care what the score is they think they can get their 50 so just be wary of that i can't stop from that but now guys come out on offense first what i like to do is no matter what never quit before trying to get your 50 when it comes to this so like let's say let's say you come on defense actually and they score on you right away they're up seven or they or even worse they go up they go up 12 they get their 20-yard touchdown don't quit right there go out on offense and throw out all four of your glitchiest plays come out in your inside zone your stretch your your pa tight end cross whatever you got and try to score that 50. That's what I do a last ditch effort every game. And it's, it's worked. I went out, they go up 12. I'm not going to quit right there. I'm going to throw a 50 yard play touchdown on you guys. If I don't get it, and then I quit. And guys, remember quitting, nothing's wrong with quitting. If you get into a game and they score on you right away, go for your 50. If you don't get it, then quit. Because you don't want to stay there much longer because then they're going to come back out on defense, score again. Now you're 14 down. You could maybe go for it again. But at that point, you're maybe in the third quarter and time just, you're just killing time. You're wasting so much time where you could have had three easy wins in the same time to get to go grind and you still might lose. Now, another thing that I like to give out is that if you get into a game, you come out on offense, you don't score right away. They come out on defense, on offense, you, they don't score right away. You're in a 0-0 zero, zero game in the second quarter. If the second I see it going 0-0 zero, zero, and they, they have some stout defense, like I know it's going to be a grind. You're versing a good defensive player, just quit. That's the first thing I do. If I get into a game and I see that they're base aligning, adjustments, manning up, cross manning, doing all this stuff. After the first drive, I know it's going to be one of those games where I have to like grind out three to five yard games. I'm quitting because at any moment they could literally get a 50 on me and the game could be over. So why give myself a headache? That's one of the best advice I can give you guys. Do not stay in those games. Now, offensively, 20 yard touchdowns, I don't think you have to scheme for. Just play Madden. That's one of the things you can do. 20 yard touchdowns, I think, are more key than the 50 because the 50 is a stroke of luck. It's going to require a missed tackle, a big Madden animation, a really good evasive. It's going to require a lot of things. But I think the best time to get, I think the best way to get is on the on the ground. I'm not a big passer this year, so for me, it's on the ground. But guys, here's the here's the key takeaways. Before we head on out, if you're down, go for your 50. If you're down by 12, go for your 50. Just go for it. If you're down seven, do not go for seven. If you're down seven, quite frankly, if you go for seven and they come back out and score seven again, now you're down 14-7. At any moment, they can end this game. Don't do it. If you're down seven, go for the 50 or go for the 20. Just go for it. And if you don't get it, quit. If you're you're up if you're up seven remember any stop they're probably gonna quit so if you're up seven play good defense play the 50 do not let them get that play your defense they'll probably quit if you go down any more than 10 just quit but before you quit go for your 50 if at any point remember 50 ends the game at all points it's like sudden death so if you ever go down by a lot come out on offense 
toss out your glitchiest your glitchiest plays you can think of like the glitchiest madden plays you can think of you don't get it you turn the ball over even go for it on fourth down then quit why not you have nothing to lose it's like a, it's like a free four plays just get them done if you don't get them quit come back into another game because i'm telling you i've had multiple house road games i don't do this anymore where for my ego's sake i stayed to the fourth quarter they beat me in with 10 seconds left there's 30 minutes of my life never getting back and in those 30 minutes i've had multiple times where i can win four house road games in 30 minutes quit 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 so why would i give up four potential wins for one ego boosting win you know where i go all the way if, if it feels close quit if it feels like it's gonna be a close game and there's really no you know those games i'm talking about there's no let up there's no big plays everything's contained in front of you it's gonna be one of those long grinding games just quit don't waste your time guys but that is about it for the video i hope you guys can take away this advice and really help you guys out with grinding these house rules out i know i gotta get in that grind hopefully i can get a few more weekend league games done today get at least 10 wins today i'm six and zero right now and then heading over to the house rules and get everything done while making videos i should have about three videos recorded at this point so i'm getting there but thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button boys for the best the best of my tips i'm actually the best tips on youtube because that'd be very egotistical but my best come here for that hit that noti bell boys uh make sure to subscribe like i said make sure to hit that like comment down below 50k to enter the day long giveaways and comment down below what you're currently doing in house rules and what your current record is boys but that is it for the video thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys next video peace